Hi, welcome to Loft 801. My name is Diego, and today I'm talking about the high school drama comedy Mean Girls, written by Tina Fey and released on January 12th, 2024. The story is largely a one for one of the 2004 comedy, also written by Tina Fey. Both stories are based on Rosalind Wiseman's 2002 book, Queen Bees and Wannabes. The story follows Katie Heron during her first year of school as she gets welcomed into the most popular girl group in school, The Plastics, ruled by Regina George. Now, before I hop into my review, if you want to support the channel, then please take a second to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you, I really appreciate it. As a warning, this review will contain some heavy spoilers, so continue at your own risk. Lastly, if there's anything that you want to see reviewed, don't forget to let me know by leaving a comment and I will get to it as soon as I can. Thank you, I'm hopping in in 3, 2, 1. So this Mean Girls remake is a little interesting to me because a lot of the things that I liked from the original are still present in this movie. I love the silly story of Katie Heron trying to adapt to a normal high school life. High school life is amplified in both movies. There are clear-cut cliques, the jocks, the nerds, the goths, the drama kids, and the plastics. The concept of cliques in a social hierarchy is so interesting to me because it's definitely present in real life school, but not to the extent that it's exemplified in this movie. However, I love how over the top things are in both movies because it gives the movies extra character, extra life. And to be fair, there are some high school students that do view school the same way way Katie Heron does. Everything seems so extra and chaotic, so I love it. While I'm doing a comparison of sorts, another thing that I loved about this movie were the characters. They are all the exact same from the original. Katie Heron, Regina George, Karen Shetty, Gretchen Wieners, Aaron Samuels, Miss Norbury, Miss Heron, Damien Hubbard, Janice Sarkisian, Mrs. George, and you get the picture. At their core, they're all pleasantly the same, but with different cast members. Let's look at the main girl, Katie Heron, played by Andrew Rice. To be honest, Honest, I loved her portrayal of Katie. She definitely has the innocent girl look, largely because she looks like Jenna Fisher from The Office. She looks like Pam Beasley, at least until she embraces being a plastic. Then she actually looks like what a popular girl looks like. The only complaint I genuinely have for Andrew is that her lip syncing sucked during the musical parts of the movie. For me, it didn't look like her lip syncing was synced and her singing looked very plain. Because the musical parts of this movie are a huge thing, this is a pretty big flaw in my eyes. Because I brought brought up Pam Beasley, let's talk about Jenna Fisher. She plays Katie's mom, and I don't think there could have been a better casting. The dynamic between both actresses is good enough, but the physical resemblance between the two is what sells me on their mom and daughter relationship. Moving on to the other main character, Regina George, Renee Rapp did a great job of playing her. I'm going to try and look at her portrayal through two points of view, mine as an adult and that of a high school student. If I were to run into Regina George today, I would likely be intimidated by her and would avoid getting on her back side. She's a very tall person and can come off as imposing. From a high school perspective, I don't see her being the queen bee at all. In fact, I think she's a target for bullying. She's tall and doesn't fit the typical skinny look that most high schoolers value. So all of this said, I liked Renee Rapp as Regina George, but the believability factor was not quite there. To not be so negative, I will say Renee Rapp is one of the best parts of this movie. She definitely has screen presence, especially during her musical scenes. You go girl. I don't have much to say about Beeb Wood as Gretchen Wieners. She did a great job, but I don't think she did better than 2004's Lacey Chabert. She doesn't have the same screen presence, but I still enjoyed her singing scenes. However, I loved Avantika Vandepu as Karen Shetty. She played the pretty ditzy role very well, and I found myself laughing at how silly she was. Despite being a side character of sorts, I found her screen presence to be strong. When she was on screen, I found her more interesting than Katie and Gretchen. So, good job of Antica. The rest of the cast was great, except for Christopher Briney as Aaron Samuels. I mean this in the most respectful way, but he isn't the dreamy guy that Jonathan Bennett was. This casting was very poor and made it so hard for me to take Katie and Regina's attraction to him seriously. I'm sorry, Chris. I'm sorry. Now, one of the biggest changes between this movie and the original is the musical aspect. I know a lot of people did not like this aspect, but man, I sure did. I am a sucker for a musical. The amount of setup and effort that goes into making the scenes is remarkable to me. I had so much fun watching every musical scene, whether it was Regina George dancing around a party to Katie Heron dancing around the school. I thought everything was spectacular. I love the colors, the lighting, the background dancers, the camera angles, 
visuals and everything else, even the close-up of Katie singing. It just adds to the fun. I know a lot of people also hated the way that this movie felt a little cleaner in tone than the original, but personally, I'm okay with that. I didn't feel like this movie was too squeaky clean. Humor from the 2000s doesn't always translate to humor today, and I think that's okay. There are some edgy things I miss from the original, but I still had a lot of good laughs and thought the Mean Girls vibe was there. Lastly, I love the inclusion of TikTok-like apps in the storytelling of movies. The first time I saw it in movies like Happy Death Day, I thought it was cringy and silly, but over the years, I've grown to like it. I don't know if it's my Zoomer brain caving in, but I think it's a fun touch of reality that makes me relate to the movie a little more. This might be my hottest take, but I like this version of Mean Girls better than the original. Crazy, I know. A lot of things I loved in the original are still present in this version. We get the same story, the same clicks, and the same characters. Was the casting as iconic? No. Was it great? Absolutely. Andre Rice, Renee Rapp, and Avantika Vandanapu were the actresses that stood out to me. I had a ton of fun watching them become friends, beef, and slay their musical parts. I am a huge fan of musicals, so that is one change I was very very happy to see. I thought the production design, lighting, camera angles, dancers, music, and everything else was spectacular. The humor was great, and despite missing some of the edginess from the original, I thought this movie did a wonderful job at making me laugh. Will this remake of Mean Girls ever be as iconic as the original? I don't think so. I don't think any remake could ever take that title. But did I have a lot of fun watching this movie? Definitely. I was in junior high when I saw the first one, and now that I'm in my mid-20s, this movie doesn't resonate with me as much as it would have back then, but I would still recommend watching it. There is certainly a lot to enjoy, and I would love to know your thoughts on which one is better. Thank you for listening to my review of Mean Girls. If you enjoyed the content and want to support the channel, then please take a second to like and subscribe. If you did not enjoy the content, thank you for sticking around. As always, I would love to read what you have to say, so leave a comment and let me know what you're thinking. Also, if you want me to review something, don't forget to let me know, and I will get to it as soon as I can. Lastly, if you want to see some more from me, then you can check out my vlogs linked up above or my podcast good friends again thank you for watching my name is diego and i will see you next time <laughs>